a familiar face in unfamiliar surroundings. Irish star Craig Breen seat fitting at Hyundai's World Rally headquarters in Germany, ahead of a return to the WRC at the upcoming Rally Finland. Something of a surprise call up as replacement for Sardinia winner Danny Sordo. A Spaniard not as comfortable in Finland's forest stages, Breen in contrast very much at home there. On the podium three years ago, and now offered a lifeline back into the WRC, charged with helping Hyundai's push for the manufacturer's title. Things started to progress a little bit, uh, you know, in our own Sardinia time. Uh, there was uh, there was uh, contact made, and obviously when the opportunity came, you know, I grabbed it with two hands, and you know, perhaps some people might have been, you know, a little bit uh, nervous about taking one rally or whatever. But you know, when these opportunities arrive, you just you just got to take. But while Breen has been away from the WRC spotlight, he's been as busy as ever alongside co-driver Paul Nagel, doing what he loves most, enjoying what he describes as his social rally calendar. I have to say it's been a special year. Uh, I've managed to take a lot of things off the bucket list that, that, uh, that I've wanted to do. Uh, first of all, going back home to Ireland was something that I've wanted to do for years and years. Uh, for me, I will always be like that. The best roads in the world are in Ireland. And, uh, the Irish Championship is very, very dear to my heart, very close to my family and uh, so yeah, I managed to get a programme together to, to, to do uh, to the Irish Championship. Uh, we won uh, the first couple of rallies in that and uh, to win some really iconic, iconic rallies, the Chocolate of Ireland again, albeit under, under a different name, uh, Killarney, uh, Rally the Lakes, obviously Paul's home rally was, was a big one. And then obviously the Italian Championship as well started that and uh, managed to win San Remo, another historical rally that I've always, always wanted to win. Uh, I love historical rallies. And, and, that was a big one, and then yeah, a couple of weeks back managed to, to win Ypres as well, which is uh, another one. So yeah, when you, <laughs> when you even think back and look at it now, it's been an absolutely amazing year, I have to say. And if it if it can all work out the way that I wanted to work out, and so far as um, you know, I get myself back into World Rally Car again and back onto this roadshow, back into this circus again, it'll be a bit of nice little gap. Yeah. Yeah. Preparations for a return to the circus came with a day's testing in Finland before some competitive action at Rally Estonia. So how did the Irishman find the feeling back behind the wheel of a world rally car? Yeah, the test went properly, everything went through rhythm well and, and, and set up the car. Little, small little things just to fit my driving style and yeah, in Estonia it was was really good also. Uh, the speed was much better than, than what I anticipated and, and just never really like it. Well. Green's mission in Finland is simple, to bring home manufacturer points for Hyundai, while of course taking the opportunity to prove he's worth a full-time drive among the world's elite. It's definitely great to be back uh, at Mr. Security. Um, it's been a long old time since Australia last year uh, and uh, I've very much enjoyed myself in the meantime. I've I found the, the reason why I started rallying all over again, which was to enjoy driving. I found that thing that I had lost and uh, fits really perfect you now that uh, I can get back in the world rally car again and, and really show it. So request opens to the finish. Titans, 100. What a stage, man! Craig Breen hoping to clinch a place back among the top echelons of the sport. Get all the action, all live. Anywhere, anytime. WRC Plus, all live.